Hey guys, welcome back to WP Event Manager. In today's video, we're going to set up a virtual event website within few minutes. So as you can see, we have a freshly installed WordPress environment here. So firstly, what we need to do, we need to install our WP Event Manager plugin. So we can install that via WordPress plugin repository. So let's go to add new plugin page. And in here, we're going to search for WP Event Manager. So we will install the very first item of our search result. So let's click on install now. After that, we need to activate this plugin. So here we are greeted with a setup wizard. So what we can do, we can click on continue page setup or you can skip the setup and do this manually. But I'll highly suggest you take a look at this setup as it's pretty helpful anyway. So in here we have page title, page description and content set code. So what this setup will do, it will go ahead and create this following page with this following short code on them. So your users can manage, add or modify events, organizers and venues from the front end side. So this is a unique feature of WP Event Manager. We allow users or the organizers to add, delete or manage events, organizers or venues from the front end side as an admin user can do it from the back end side. So next we're going to scroll down and click on clear selected pages. So we are done setting up the plugin. So after this, we need to install an add-on for our WP Event Manager to transfer this event listing website into our virtual event listing website. So we need Zoom add-on for that. Our WP Event Manager core plugin is pretty useful and it, at its own, but we have a vast majority of add-ons available at our official website. So feel free to check them out and they extend our core plugins functionalities in a further and a greater way so if you go to wp-eventmanager.com and visit on our add-ons page in here we have all the add-ons available for our wp event manager so from here we need the zoom add-on to convert this website into a virtual event website right feel free to check this page out for documentation or a feature rundown we have a dedicated video about this zoom add-on in our channel as well. Feel free to consult them for more guidance. So I have downloaded this zoom add-on on my computer. So I am going to install it manually. Then we need to activate this plugin. So next we need to activate this plugin. So we can click over here and paste our license key here then click on activate it will activate our add-on for our event manager so our setup part is pretty much done so wordpress default themes are not that suitable for our event listing website i'm gonna install a free theme for this purpose so if we search over here event listing there's a free theme by us you can install it if you want or you can install your premium theme that you already have paid for so let's install this theme first Meanwhile, you can go ahead and install other utilities plugins such as cache plugins, SEO plugins, uh, WPML or translation plugins such as. So feel free to uh, modify or install plugins or tweak the website as per your need. But for my need, it's pretty much done. Uh, I have installed WP Event Manager. I have installed the Zoom add-on for it and I have installed a suitable theme. So next, what I need to do I need to create a meeting first. So before that, I need to also set up our Zoom add-on. We have a dedicated video about how to set up this Zoom add-ons and stuff. All the settings about Zoom add-on, all the functionalities in this channel on our previous videos. Feel free to check them out for more guidance. So allow me a few seconds to set this up. So I have copy pasted my API key and API secret key into this settings panel to set this zoom add-on up. Let's click on save changes. So as you can see, it says zoom account connected. Now we can add the meetings. Let's click on all meetings. From here, we can click on add new. So let me explain a little bit what's a virtual event website. During this pandemic, a physical meeting or an event is kind of impossible. Uh, maintaining social distancing and event is not that fun that it used to be so so people are often choosing for a virtual event that includes a meeting that gathers people around so in this scenario our event manager plugin that works with our zoom add-on perfectly we can use this for this perfect scenario we can add a meeting that will let various users join the meeting 
and using WP Event Manager, you can link the meeting with an event. So it becomes a virtual event. So enough talk, let's add this meeting as quickly as possible. So as you can see, we have published our meeting. Let's go to all meetings to verify it first. We see our meeting been published. We have meeting ID and start date and time. So since we have added the meeting successfully, next we're gonna create some organizer and a venue to go with our event. These fields are totally optional, but I'm adding them for a better demonstration. So if we click on add new, we'll be able to add a new organizer. So let's fill out these details very quickly. Let's add an organizer logo to it as well. Now we are ready to publish this organizer. Next, we're going to add a venue. So for that, we need to go inside this venue page. From here, we can click on add new. So let's fill out these details as well. So in here you can add multiple fields for your venue such as website, Instagram, Twitter, YouTube link, Facebook link as well. And you can even set a venue logo but this is irrelevant for this demo. I am not setting it up but feel free to add it as per your needs. You can even, uh, you can even add a larger description over here as well. So let's publish it anyway. So now we are ready to add a new event. So if you click on add new. In here we have the event submission form. Let me fill out these details very quickly. So to convert this event into a virtual event, what we need to do, we need to click on online event yes. So this will bind a meeting that we created earlier within this event. So this event becomes a virtual event that people can join from their home without leaving the house. So let's fill out these additional details as well. Let's select our event banner. Let's select an event category. Let's select a type. So let's select a start date. Let's set it to tomorrow. End date. And our start time. Then I have our then we have our registration deadline. I'm not choosing one. So since it's an online event, we do not really need to select a venue. And then we can select the meeting here from the drop-down list. We have listing expiry date. So if we set this, it will automatically expire the listing after this date. Then we have our featured listing tick box over here. So it will get highlighted in supported themes. So we are pretty much done here. Let's publish this event. Let's view this event in the front end side. So we have our event details page. We have our event title, our event organizer, event description, and our Zoom meeting information. So let's open this page in a new tab or a new window to see how it would look to a real user who is not an admin. So let's open this in an incognito tab. So this is the event details page for a regular user on the website. We have our banner, our title, our organizer, our view count, description, and the Zoom meeting information. So the difference is you see the timer over here and these joining links. These are only visible to the admin only. So being that said, let me recap what we did here. We installed WordPress into a domain. Then we installed our WP Event Manager plugin. We installed our Zoom add-on for WP Event Manager. We activated it. We added a meeting. We created an organizer, which is visible over here in the organizer section at the bottom. And then we created an event, which we binded with a meeting. So being that said, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. This is how we create a virtual event website in WordPress in few minutes. So hope you learned something new today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like on this video. And if you think we forgot to cover up something in this video, let us know in the comment. We will help you with that as well. So thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.